Okay, so I mean, that sounds like a just a great, innocent, amazing idea. Uh, tell me how it all went wrong. <laughs> so today, I'd like to tell you all a story. I'd like to bring you all into the world of the Community Council for World of Warcraft. Now, for many of you all, you've probably heard a little bit more about this uh, this situation maybe than I have, and I know that, and that's why. I'm going to be bringing in some of the people, actually one of the people that's mentioned in this post, and interviewing them directly about their involvement with the community council and the way that things have evolved throughout its life cycle. But I want to set the stage at first. So there is a Twitter drama because people took this out of context screenshot of Procedent. This is the person we're going to be talking to. They're going to be explaining this. There was a feedback forum to use to feed into the community council. And there was somebody who was unhappy about the fact that there were too many black people in Stormwind. He got, I'll, I'll tell the whole story in just a bit. Okay. I'll let him tell the story, but there's been a lot of drama with this community council thing. And I also want to emphasize here that all of this has nothing to do with the game. This has literally nothing to do with the game. So the guy we're going to be interviewing here is a member of the community council who was kicked out of the community council. And I'm going to give him uh, the chance to talk about his experience with it and what happened. You're interviewing the racist guy or the guy who replied to him? The guy who replied to him, I don't give a fuck, he's some random ass guy. Yeah, why would I interview a guy, so too many black people and so on? What, what kind of interview is that going to be? So you think there's too many black people in Stormwind? Yeah. Okay, that's dumb. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. That's it. Right? I mean, I feel like it, it's a pretty fucking simple conversation. Okay. All right. So you're both here and everything. And so uh, my understanding, uh, am I okay with using uh, your friend's name? Uh, what do you want to go by? Just call me whatever you want. Okay, all right, that's fine. Uh, I'll just use your Discord just, name then. Just use the Discord name, yeah. Yeah, uh, Terrors. Okay, so I've got two individuals here. Uh, I've got uh, this guy right here, uh, Procedent. Is that how to say your name? Uh, yes. And uh, Procedent and Terrors. And both of these people were members of the World of Warcraft Community Council. And I'd like you to kind of give me an idea of what was it like being on the council? How did you get on the council? Like, whenever the council emails went out, or the announcement for the council went out, what made you want to apply for the council? Well, it was mostly in the same manner as you applied with uh, in regards to Torga. So, like, I looked at the announcement, I didn't think too much of it, I thought it was just a fucking joke, right? But yeah. I logged on my old four year, and then I started forming Honor, and then ten minutes later I already submitted my application, right? Because the Honor grind is fucking atrocious. Smart. True. Yeah, pretty much the same reason. And so... You got the email adding you and inviting you into the council. And so what was the, how did the email read? Like, what did you do after you got the email? You just had to um, reply back pretty much um, with what character you want to be addressed on the forums because they can only select one. You also had to share your battle tag. And oh, yeah, battle tag, disco tag, and so on. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, EU people had to set up a trial account on the US, though, to be able to be added to the council because they didn't make this they, they only set up the community council for the na forum so none of the other regional forums have access to it that that's good makes sense all right yeah of course uh i mean we did invent democracy so it would make sense i suppose i i'm i apologize i think that my humor is lost on on you guys who are europeans am i right Oh, I don't mind. I was reading chat. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I was worried that I offended you this early into the interview. Okay. That's fine. So you got invited into it. You had to make a trial account to even use the forums. It's kind of annoying. And you get into the forums. And my understanding of the forums is that they were, you were able to read the forums, but you just could not post on them. Is that right? That is absolutely yeah. correct. You had to make a character on a trial license, which you don't have to pay a sub for, get to level 10, and then you can just post. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking at it here, and did you guys make any posts on the community council? When I, yeah, when I was removed, I made about 20% of all the posts. Wow. Okay, I can see that. Yeah, there's the post you made on boosting, another one about players wanting to approach the game, 
And uh, let's see, yeah, there's a, a number of them down here on the bottom. How solo content failed in, re in recent history, why it shouldn't be forsaken, reasons people are quitting mythic raiding. So you've actually made a lot of content posts on here, and I can see that, like, holy shit, there's a lot of these. So I I'm just going to randomly click on one and just look and see, like, so you, you're writing out a whole book on each one of these, pretty much. Uh, at pretty least process. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I can see that. So um, you also, my understanding is that you made a Discord because there's been a lot of drama with this situation and you made a Discord. What was the goal and what was your thinking behind making this Discord that people are taking these screenshots from that are about like the too many black humans and Stormwind? So as a bit of context, so when I got invited uh, to the uh, council, one of the like verse life flags that I've seen basically in like the first few emails that I got is there are absolutely no standard, no, no standard setup, no guidelines, no anything. It's basically a captain without a ship, right? Mm, All we had, we had, we had some rules. We had to abide a code of conduct 100%, unlike other players that would get some leeway on the forums. On the forums, like, but then other than that, there's like basically no guy, like, well, like if you scroll out to the top of the, the council forums, there is a sticky called notable discussions. If you read that, there's absolutely no explanation as to what makes the discussion noticeable. Okay. Or notable. I'll read it real uh, quick just for the audience. Uh, in this pinned post, we'll keep an updated list of links to noteworthy threads started by the council members. This will serve as a one stop shop that saves you from needing to bookmark two dozen links. And there's one post about this. It says 9.15 general thoughts. Yeah. One of the screenshots I sent you in DMs. Um, yeah. Randy said that he would update it regularly. He hasn't really done it so far. Yeah. So, Randy to circle back, yes, to circle back, uh, the reason why I set up the Discord mm -hmm. is because I, I like I basically knew that this shit is just it's not gonna work out. So I decided to do what what a con like a, what like what the job of a community council is supposed to be, which is like you know talk to people, represent their ideas, all that stuff, right? So, so I set up the Discord. So what, just let me let me step back for a second. So you thought that the community council fundamentally was flawed because there were no real goals or there were no metrics in which content was to be judged by. Is that right? Yes, there was absolutely nothing. Okay, it's it's just basically ge a general discussion for one hundred people. That's okay. It. Yeah. All right. I, I can definitely see that. Um, do you feel like the quality of the posts on the WoW Council uh, forum was higher? Yes. Okay. M mine are because they get read. There you go. All right. So, yeah. so you thought to yourself, you're like, okay, uh, I want to make a Discord. What was your goal with making a Discord that was more public? Because obviously this Discord was not only accessible by uh, community council members. It was accessible by everyone. Is that right? That is correct. So the reason why I set it up is like a community council would imply that we are representing a community. So I, I wanted to reach out the people in a way, uh, at least without the restrictions of the actual about forums or the restrictions Reddit. Uh, Discord is pretty much a standard among gamers nowadays. So yeah. it's one of the easier ways to uh, talk to people, you know, you know, not just represent ourselves. Get it unfiltered, basically. So basically yes. what you were doing is you were saying, okay, well, we now have the ear of the developers. And because of that, we want to give you all a place to the community, the WoW community at large. You want to give everybody a place where they can give their feedback to you for you to give your feedback to the developers. Basically an overcomplication of uh, a simple suggestions forums, but yes. Yes, right. Okay. So, I mean, that sounds like a, just a great, innocent, amazing idea. Uh, tell me how it all went wrong. <laughs> so the Discord is actually going pretty well. Uh, there wasn't really a whole lot of uh, controversy or drama or anything. There were some trolls, of course. It's something I expected. Yeah, it's of course. Open public Discord off after all. Like it's go it's gonna happen eventually. It's just a question of when. Um, I mean, the trolls got you booted. Oh, yeah, they did. I mean, I I don't really care to be honest. Sh <laughs> As I said, I don't really have a whole lot of faith in the council. I got my posts out, that's it, I'm done. But to circle back, I set up uh, a channel called Reasons Why I Quit. It's to reach out to people that have stopped playing the game and to share their uh, reasons, what possible changes might bring them back to the game, right? And then there was this one guy, the guy that eventually got uh, put on Twitter. 
he just left a simple line of too many black people in Stormwind. So the reason why I replied to him in the way that I did, uh, I know a lot of people that quit for reasons that are connected to this. So like when the Shadowlands customization options were, uh, yeah. customizations were added, that came off of uh, controversies such as the Free Hong Kong or the BLM. Yeah. So, and the people that I know that quit uh, because of this found, or at least they felt like Blizzard was really disrespectful. So they just decided to put a stop to the game, put a stop to giving you know the company money. So, so really, like you're just taking the unfiltered opinions from people of why they quit, and your statement here was just rephrasing what he said in a way that's like more accessible? Well, I just wanted to give him a second chance at explaining himself like in the EU, like not yeah. basically, like there's barely anyone who has English as their first language, right? So mm -hmm. it's almost a common courtesy to let people explain themselves better if, if they fail at, fail at speaking English. Anyone, so playing, I, I, anyone playing LOL on EU West can, tes can testify that. Okay. So, so, so you basically wanted to, you said learn to express yourself better. So really in this post, because I feel like, and, and I'll, I'll go through this more, I feel like a lot of people have seen your response to this individual here and taken it as you promoting or accepting or agreeing with what they said. Is that the vibe that you get? Uh, no, I, ju I just wanted to see what his actual thoughts are because I couldn't decide okay. if he's just a fucking racist or if, if it's someone who can't really speak English too well and then, you know, let him explain themselves again. Okay. Then again, he didn't really respond to me, so I just banned him afterwards. So so you banned this guy before any of the drama happened or anything like that? Yes, way before. Like, this screenshot like surfaced like about 10 or 15 hours after I banned him. I, I'm going to have to say, I think this is a bit of a mountain out of a molehill. Uh, there's one individual who said something stupid. He got one thumbs up, and now the entire thing is uh, terrible. Twitter in a nutshell. Well, Pretty I mean, much. what else are they going to do? Uh, <laughs> you know, like that that's what they do. So this guy has, uh, this guy made the post, and did he, did he make any other posts uh, aside from this or anything? Oh, okay, he, uh, I don't necessarily know if if it was this person who followed up with like a bunch of other out of contest screenshots. Uh, I don't really follow Twitter. I don't use Twitter. I don't have a Twitter account. I've just been made aware by others that these screenshots were happening. I was uh, honestly, I lost most of the links. I've just really been focused on trying to like clean shit up. Right. I don't want to be put into a. I don't want to be painted in a neg negative light. Right. So you feel Especially like this has been that, like people have been damaging your. Uh, you're like your character for creating this discord and do you feel like people are blaming you for these kinds of posts here he partly got blamed for because um, when he uh, suggested to make the discord there was a mixed um, receiving in the, in the community channel because yeah. a lot of people didn't like the idea probably because of this reason you need to moderate such discord servers or it's turning to this nightmare then there were other people that just didn't give a fuck and you had people that were like, mm, yeah, could try it. I mean, if it helps you doing your work, then go ahead. So what was the other, what were the other conversations on the Discord besides this? Were there other, um, let's just say, spicy conversations happening? Or was this the only one? Oh, um, like a few days before uh, the screenshot got put on Twitter, there was a, I set up a, a channel specifically for like role-playing content, right? And... Some trolls appeared, and uh, a couple, uh, uh, I just say, not safe for work topics surfaced. Uh, they were clearly trolls, uh, trolls, so I had to ban them. But okay. after this, this screenshot surfaced, that got brought up as well to like further reinforce my image as like being a terrible person. So, and and who are these people that are bringing this up? Is it just the person who made this tweet, or is it other people as well? Other people. Yeah, other people. Okay. Uh, could you like explain like some of the other situations and some of the other people that were like blaming you? I mean, uh, let me see if I can find the screenshots again and the Twitter links. Yeah, sure. Well, and I do want to kind of cut to the chase here real quick. Uh, this this did ultimately lead to you being removed from the community council. Is that right? That is correct. Uh, the screenshots landed at, uh, at Blizzard and uh, Randy decided to pull the plug. 
So the guy didn't. Sorry. Yeah. No. Go ahead. The guy didn't even send me a Discord DM. He just sent me an email and shadow banned me while I was asleep. So, why did he? Why? Why do you think he did that? Damage control oh, most likely. Yeah, damage control, and also he just didn't want to like have a conversation on Discord. I'm assuming. Had you it talked to Randy before then? Uh, no, not really. Okay. I haven't really been given the opportunity to uh, even explain what happened to him. I mostly been. Uh, responding to other council members in the private discord who were about just as accepting as the uh, Twitter mob that appeared on my discord. Okay. Um, did you have any sort of like other infractions or anything like that that you had done in the past that would cause them? Because like, I think that the, uh, I'm going to read out, I don't want to drag it all over and everything. I'm just going to read out the, this was the email that, uh, uh, that Procedent received from Randy. So this is Randy talking to, to Procedent. Uh, Since your appointment to the WoW Community Council, we have been made aware of numerous recent cases of misconduct and inappropriate behavior on your part. These incidents not only occurred in your unofficial community discord, but other sites and social media platforms. After investigating this, we found your behavior to be unacceptable for a member of the community council. Your membership in the council has been revoked effective immediately. So I I'm going to ask you an honest question, okay? This is a come to Jesus question. Is that I'm sure people on the other side of this are going to see this video and what other evidence do they have? I begged for upvotes on my Discord once. You what? <laughs> I ask people to upvote me. And also, I've been okay. uh, pretty active at bash bashing Blizzard on the WoW forums, both EU and NA. Were you serious with the upvote? <laughs> so, so, so you basically shameless self-promotion and talking shit about Blizzard. Yes, I can relate to that. Uh, but uh, just, just be honest with me, because I don't want to seem like a jackass. If I put, if I put a video out about this and I talk about this, I bring you on. There's no way that somebody's going to come on and show a bunch of screenshots of you saying other bad shit, right? That's not going to happen? Not going to happen. Okay. Unless they know me from like six or seven years before. Same. Uh, the the N-word was like quite a regular part of my vocabulary. Yeah, I think there were a lot of people that talked differently back then than they do now. And uh, I, I, there, there are going to be some people in chat, I'm sure, that probably did not. But uh, yeah, seven years ago, that was quite a long time ago. Uh, people can change over seven years. The only thing I'm the only thing I'm familiar with is like the stuff on Twitter and only the stuff on Twitter <laughs> regarding him. And other than that, the only thing I didn't even know president existed before the council. But from what I could gather was um, that he was at least active in the PvP forums. Okay, so he probably was toxic then. Probably. <laughs> okay. Maybe. All right, so uh, so they email you, and your assumption on this, because did you try to reach out, or did you get any other correspondence, or try to even correspond? Did, did you send uh, Randy back a message at all? Yeah, no reply. They okay. reserved the right uh, to remove anyone whenever they want without reason. Yes, of course. Uh, that's the that's the first thing that I got in my invitation email. Okay, um, that that's fine, and so. Basically, you had, you, you had just been removed, and you think that you were removed because of these, I'm assuming, like, because this is even what he said in the, in the email, is that you had been removed because of the comments that you had made. I mean, it's a bit vague because it's a new, like, quote-unquote, numerous cases of misconduct. Yeah, so, so it's extremely vague. It's extremely vague. Like, I think it's correct to assume that it was because of the screenshots on Twitter. I think that's what would make the most sense. Yeah, I, I think so for sure. Um, so basically, do you think that the Discord, creating a Discord was a good idea uh, for people to give the feedback to the community council members and have conversations? It was, uh, absolutely. Um, a, lot of that a lot of that did end up in the uh, actual council forums. Like we discussed a bunch of, bunch of stuff about the game and then that got put out. Okay, so basically you talked with those people and then you made forums, or you made posts on the official community council forums, is that right? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, and yeah, that, that sounds fine to me. That's good. And did you have any correspondence with the developers prior to this? Did you talk to any developers at all or anybody 
at Blizzard while you were part of the community council in, in any real capacity besides just the welcome and fuck off email? No, uh, the only communication I ever had with Blizzard was through t t tickets okay. that I got an automated response for. Do you know anybody else who's been removed from the community council? No, not yet anyways. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure that would be more to come. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure that will happen. Um, uh, fun side fact, they haven't actually even finished inviting all the members. Um, I got invited in the first wave this week, was supposed to be the second wave of invites, and then the third wave, which is lost, is supposed to happen in January. Okay. So, like, <laughs> so I'm sure there will be more bad apples. Yeah, I, I guess so. That makes sense. Okay, well, uh, I, I don't even really know what to say, because it's, it's really complicated, because as usual... There's no real sort of of context that, that they're giving. I feel like it's very obvious. Like, I'll ask the chat, the audience here. Do you guys think that this was the reason why he got banned? Because I feel like this was probably what it was. Yeah, yeah, it was. So you had made the, you had made the Discord. Someone said no, someone said no in chat. Explain yourself. I would rather say it's a mix between this and the uh, drama you also cause in the Discord. What drama? Inside the council, the council Discord. What happened there? I'm not, I'm not going to name names. I'm, I'm utterly against witch hunting in every sense of the word. But it's, it's what I, what I said earlier. Tell me a story, not the names then. Uh, when he suggested to open his Discord. It, as I said earlier, it was not well received by a lot of people. For, in hindsight obvious reasons because the discord did backfire and it had caused blizzard to react because given all their pr fuck ups in the past they had to do damage control before the shit spirals out of control because twitter is a fucking bitch yeah i mean it's got 300 likes i i mean it's i you gotta call the call the white house about this one it's a big like deal all the remaining wild players yeah, that, that's, that's of course. Of course, it's not much, but you never know. Like, if it if it continues, someone else might actually get to it. You, for example, even just you talking about it, or let's take someone from that's also very important in the world, and so on and so on. Then right. this bio out of control. More people read it. People assume shit. They witch hunt. They read things out of context, and yeah. Okay. <sighs> That's really confusing to me, man. That really is, because it's like, you know that if you have a large group of people, especially with an unmoderated Discord, you're going to have a few bad comments that then just get deleted later on. This is just the nature of the internet. It doesn't necessarily mean that Blizzard is responsible for them or causing them or uh, any way related to them or approving them. Uh, I, I find that logic to be completely insane, but apparently not. And... With with you gone, and I'm sure other people in the community council. Well, actually, before I get to that, you said that there were a bunch of people who sent you messages whenever you made the Discord. Yes, uh, within the council, they were happy about it. What did I they say? I didn't care too much uh, that uh, I should have consulted them first because they did not agree with the idea that I shouldn't fragment the community. Why? Because they're stupid. Yeah, yeah. That's his opinion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to insult anyone. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, fair enough. Okay. So uh, they basically didn't want to have any sort of community uh, community outreach. They wanted to just pretty be the only people talking to Blizzard. Is that effectively what's going on? Uh, pretty much. A uh, couple people in particular. I also won't mention names. Uh, I'm not that petty, but like a lot of people that have uh, approached me in a negative way about the entire Discord server, um, like the main argument was that the council members are supposed to represent themselves, which is what I mean, like the total lack of standards from Blizzard's end. So there's no like, standards provided a at all in terms of like the community council content or anything? As, as I said, it's just a general discussion yeah. forums, but for less people. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, I'm just reading through some of the comments and feedback from here. So do you feel like the community council just in general was a PR move or do you think it was done with like good intentions? 
I don't think any of that. Yeah. I don't. I honestly don't think any. It was any of that. It was just uh, like blindly swinging, trying to do, trying to make something, and then and may, maybe we'll maybe we'll get something good out of it. Yeah. It might be. It might be a PR move, but it's too early to tell yet. We need to see. Like for for now, Blizzard has the benefit of the doubt, I guess, because it's Christmas. They're busy in real life, and so on and so on. And it's one month into the program now. And it's up for at least a year. And who knows how it looks like in another two weeks, another four weeks, and so on. Yeah, I've been seeing this kind of just completely spiral out of control. And what I find to be so odd about this is that, like, this is not even about the game. Like, there's nothing that has to do with World of Warcraft in this entire conversation. Like, it's not a disagreement over uh, the game design. It's not a disagreement over anything. It's basically... Uh, I, I feel like the people that were trying to stop you from making the Discord were gatekeeping, uh, more so than anything. Well, there are really two reasons why I wanted to come on. One of them is uh, talk about the console, talk about like how much of a <laughs> how much of a failure it is. Really, it's like something that you know players have been really wanting for a long time for Blizzard to actually start listening. It turns out they really don't. Like the the three blue responses we got. Uh, we got them like, like at this point, like almost like three or four days uh, ago, like maybe even older. They haven't really followed up on the conversation as well. Uh -huh. So it was more about just spreading information on uh, on the community council itself, how it works internally. The other one is kind of a more serious one, more of a pers uh, more of a personal one. Yeah, it's uh, I've been made aware that a WoW had a uh, a uh, writer has followed the drama on Twitter. Uh, you may know this uh, lady. She's called Discordian Kitty. Yeah. She's the one that, uh, that made the Exploring Candor uh, article that you covered the other day. Yes, I know who that is. And just as a bit of context, that article, either directly or indirectly, I'm not sure which one it is really. I haven't looked too much into it. I just know that that article got the authors, uh, the book's author's wife um, basically bullied off of Twitter. And I, and I don't want the same to happen to me because basically for any no, news no, agency... That happened before. Like, that, all that oh, drama... Yeah, yeah, that happened before, man. I'm like 90% sure... Like, can you guys correct me if I'm right about this? Because I could be wrong, but I remember reading about that before the article even went out. Uh, regardless, like, I, I just don't want to... Because this, like, any drama concerning Blizzard is going to get a lot of clicks, right? And if they ever decide to write about me, I know Discordian Kitty has a mission against racism and I'm afraid she won't she will paint me in a false light and I don't want that to happen to me. I don't want random people uh to go after me. Yeah. Uh that would be a good idea. So I, I guess like basically what would you say to the people that are angry at you? Welcome. That's like the only thing I can really say. Yeah. Well, like, what I'm saying is, like, yes, obviously, fuck them, but you very clearly want to get your perspective out there, and you people. want people to see the way that you, the reason why you did what you did, the the reason why. So can you kind of give a little bit more of a of an explanation for that, and why you think that this is not something that you should be disliked for, or criticized for, or anything? People need to listen to both sides before making their own opinion. Mm -hmm. One and then the other is, I've been basically doing Blizzard's job for them with the community council. Yeah. I've gotten like tons of positive feedback. I like the, if, like before I got to the uh, Twitter drama, I barely received any negative feedback. Like it wasn't actually like a, such an amazing last week, really. Yeah. Like talking to people and making the posts. And I feel like it's, it's a bit of a shit reward, you know? Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely feel that way, uh, for sure. So, I mean, like, if they find, like, a bunch of screenshots or whatever uh, of you saying other stuff, I, I don't really know what to say about that because I don't know what it is. But, like, everything I've seen, it seems like you, uh, you, you made a Discord to bring in other people and bring in other voices. Uh, you have clearly a history here of making posts that are, uh, you know, like, to some degree, I mean, this is, you put a lot of work into your posts, uh, I can definitely, like, even somebody who disagrees with this or whatever, uh, you clearly have a, a history of putting a lot of work into your posts and 
and and and being outspoken about these things. So uh, feels like this guy uh, made a Discord to give people an unfiltered suggestion about WoW, and he commented on a guy's post asking to explain, and he got removed for no reason. S that's kind of the way that I feel about it too. Yeah, and, and like you can see the posts that he made, like uh, any post here by Procident, this is the guy that we're talking to. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I I think that's pretty much it. So. I, I don't, that's just, that's so crazy to me. Uh, really is. Well, anyway, uh, do you have any other, uh, any other thoughts or, uh, closing opinions about this? Because I'll probably talk to my chat about this and, uh, uh go through some more analysis. But, uh, if there's anything else you want to add to the conversation. Don't go witch hunt people. There it is. Even, though, even if they are in the wrong, or mm -hmm. in your opinion, are in the wrong. Uh, yeah. I don't really have much else to say. I think I'd covered everything that i wanted okay yeah all right well uh thanks a lot for coming on i really appreciate it and uh hopefully they'll be able to sort this out and actually make the community council something useful and i, I do appreciate you making those posts and actually trying to put your voice out there and uh do what you can do yeah i don't think unfortunately it will have an impact for 10.0 because like the entire thing is so derailed like at best assuming it's at the actual best it will be a 11.0 thing yeah. By which point the riot, M the riot MMO and Ashes of Creations are going to be out stealing all the attention from Blizzard. So we'll see what happens. It's looking too good. Yeah, well, if they read the feedback and they implement it in the right way, maybe that might not happen. We'll have to see. Either way, guys, uh, thanks a lot for coming on and talking about it. I, I do appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much, dude. Thank you for taking the time. For sure. See ya. Peace. Yeah, yeah. See you later. So uh, that's basically where it is. Um, I, I feel like it's kind of unfortunate that something stupid like this happened uh, i really i really think it's unfortunate what do you guys think about it yeah it, it seems really really dumb like the whole situation seems dumb uh, people are late can you summarize what happened uh the guy so the guy basically he was he's was making a lot of posts on the wow community council forum and then uh somebody made this post so we made a discord and it wasn't uh, apparently it wasn't moderated enough my understanding is like there were a few bad posts, but it wasn't anything like really crazy. This person said too many black humans in Stormwind. This guy asked him to rephrase it. Uh, he didn't, and then he banned him. So uh, that's pretty much about it. And uh, because that he uh, because he asked them to rephrase it or to say something, he's trying to understand what this person was saying. Uh, Blizzard responded by permanently banning him. And, and I do also want to say that. If there is any other information about this, that's why I asked him, like, come to Jesus. Like, is there any other shit you've said in the past that this could be because of? And he was like, yeah, maybe shit from like seven years ago, but that's it. Uh, that, that's basically about it.